then came the head coach when Quinn Snyder parted ways with the Jazz. And they thought they were going to do a rebuild. It's turned out to be a retool as they are 19 and 60, number seven in the Western Conference right now. Yeah, and they got a couple draft picks, and they're in great position right now. They have a winning culture again. Jakob Porter knows all about Utah. Spent a couple years in the University of Utah in Salt Lake against Kessler, who was among the block leaders in the NBA in his rookie season out of Auburn. Yeah, but when you look at our starting line about there, that is not a 10 and 22 team. I mean, you have a lot of talent out there. Walker Kessler, 7 1, 245, a rookie from Auburn, averaging 6 and 6 in nearly two blocks a game. Conley, wide open Rotate. three, drains it from the corner. Ahead to Sohan. The Sal. Nothing but the net as Devin the Sal. He has had great games against his old hometown team. Vanderbilt's missed. Jones again coming up with the board. Ahead to Keldon. Johnson lays it up and in. Agile seven footer right there, putting the ball on the floor, trying to take it coast to coast. Two teams combined, seven of 24. Oh, upgrade that a bit. Jakob Pirtle with an and one. Sexton got behind the glass. And then the swipe is taken back by Conley ahead to Sexton. He beats Kessler. Oh, mama! Block of Pirtle there to meet him. Rudy Gay, former Spurrer, comes in for the first time tonight. Got a nice round of applause introduced for the tip-off. Here is Sexton. Moment at the officials. Yeah. There's the right way to object to a call. Yeah. Just give them a smile like, really? And then talk to them about it later. Yeah. You know? And don't say a word in the moment. Yeah, don't show them up. And their eight-point win against the Wizards. Yeah, he's had some huge performances, especially from beyond the arc. Johnson spins in the lane and scores. 19-16. He's been a little bit of a roll. Makes it 19-18. They got back on defense, held up Zach Collins in time for his big man to get back in the play. Oh, the big body! Showing you what it's all about! Little bear down, Wildcat versus Wildcat situation. Oh, inside, and a block! Collins and a save! And here come the Spurs! Vassell back to McDermott with seven on the shot clock, and Doug is fouled! Send him to the line! Johnson with two seconds. Somebody's got to shoot it. McDermott did, and it will count. Have a special guest with us here on a Monday night with his first 50th anniversary celebration going on, and Stanley Johnson gets the and one. Thinking back to 50 years of Spurs basketball and how you've become such a member of this community. I, I, I try not to, Bill. <laughs> That's a lot of time. Um, you could use your hands on defense. You could actually right. guard people. Right. Defense. Thank you. Thank you, Kobe. Keep, <laughs> keep on. Bring you it some more. You can't do that anymore. No matter what you did, he would do something equally good. <laughs> and when I was doing the television, I would talk about thousands of decisions that were being made. And, um, I mean, we we had a lot of really good players. <laughs> and, and we had a, you, Doug Mo had a really good style. Seven on the shot clock, 5.49 remaining in the half. Vanderbilt back to Conley for three. And Mike Conley out of Ohio State. So, Lance Smith, Spurs. Four of nine shooting this quarter, and Utah gets back to back triples as Rock has been on a minutes restriction since coming back from injury. Boy, they need him. Oh, what a catch and score from Keldon Johnson. That's a great five from Malachi as well. What Coach Pop told him when he got the job in Utah, and he said it pretty succinctly, he said, Pop said, take it slow, things don't happen in a day. Most importantly, be yourself. Four of his three-point attempts. Collins had it knocked away, and then it is stolen as the Spurs turn it over for the ninth time, and it leads to a marking and dunk. Spurs as Johnson hands it off to Devin Vassell. Vassell for two! Uh, and it's right over the top of the seven footer with that high release. He had 38 points two games ago when he hit 9 of 15 for three. Trey Jones, speaking of triples. Cookies and everything I ate over the last five days. Yeah, that's what the holidays moving, are for. Yeah, right? I'm moving very slowly. My brain is moving slowly too. 
That's nothing. No, oh, wait a minute. That's nothing here. No, no, Kelvin no. Johnson gets it. But Kelvin continues to run the floor. <laughs> but so did the Utah Jazz. Kelvin slaps that one away. Back underneath. Oh, mama! What a play! Way to draw it up, Coach Pop! Ahead to Kate of Bates Diop. Back to Trey. The sell. Got it! Makes it 79-69, a 10-point game. Hurdle, little floater. And the shot blocker's got four fouls. And so had with the flush. I think there might have been a carry and or a travel in there. Keldon in the paint. Spots Malachi. Brandon for three. Oh, mama. Brandon. Keldon's had it as soon as he catches the ball. Turn the corner. That hesitation cost him. Brandon's miss. Clarkson. And and one. And the blown out the Spurs by 20. The cell. And on the shot clock. Setting things up. Collins for two. And there's a run stopper. Inside out. Start dominating with points in the paint. You're going to win a lot of games. So we go to the fourth. Purcell opens it up for the bucket. Collins gives to Jones. You know where he's going. Kicks it off to Devin. Oh, oh McDermott. A band in. And just like that, the Spurs. Tonight he's got seven with four rebounds. Spurs lose it. And the bucket is good once the right idea trying to put it high off the glass sexton nearly lost it but he finds relief and vanderbilt scores again and they've missed a couple opportunities and pop wasn't happy with that effort there because he's just drawing that play up and our guys didn't execute mcdermott who passed the hurdle on the pick and roll keeps cutting hurdle on the drive back to mcdermott Oh, there's nowhere to go there. McDermott for three. Purple right there to drop it back home. Mike Conley was 17 as it five threes. Branham got it to go, and Collins stayed away from it. Yeah, that's Justice right there. Back to Collins, five on the clock. Up and under. Oh, mama. Nifty from Zach Collins. Yeah. And we've done a good, pretty decent job keeping him, keeping him under control. Big time shot from Devin Vassell. Got a jump hook there. Vassell in the paint. Oh, oh no. Back and forth. Oh, my. Lingerie on the floor. <laughs> really, that was definitely tricky from Devin. Vassell gives it up. Passing inside. Collins. to finish this one out tonight. Oh, they've been executing fairly, very well, and they're getting it done on this end, too, even though they just gave up a three ball. Nine-point lead for the Spurs with 1.50 to go. Sohan blocked by Markin and saved to Conley. That's a, again, that's a clock issue there, Bill. Clarkson. That's a, that's a three. Jones, six on the shot clock, guarded by Markin. Jones on the drive, the floater! Seconds to go. Don't allow them just to allow the inbounder to throw a ball directly for a three-point shot. Clarkson wants the three, got the three. Wow. Seven on the shot clock. Jones with the basketball, guarded by Beasley. Jones on the drive. Got it in. Oh, mama. The Dukey and Trey Jones makes it a five-point game. Meanwhile, the Spurs had split their last eight games and had dropped their last two. Marketing with a dunk with two seconds to go. Almost no time off the clock. The cell is fouled with one second. The guys are going to blow some games down the stretch like they did in Portland, where they're up six with you know a few minutes to play and just didn't couldn't figure out how to close out the game. 22 with one second remaining, and Devin Vassell misses this one. And that toss means nothing. The Spurs get 